Hey guys, Vizera Low Productions here, and today I will be doing my first ever real podcast. So, this podcast is going to be completely unscripted because I want to give my real thoughts on this with you guys. So, today's topic is the Xbox One X. And personally, I really like the console. There are some things that I wish could be better, but still, I really like the thing. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get straight into talking about this thing. So, the actual reveal of this thing, I thought this, I thought it was just really, you know, straightforward to the point. Like, look, this is how it was in the old days. This is what it was in the 360 days. This is what it was now, or no, with the One. And this is what it is now with the One X. And then they show off the One X, and it's pretty straightforward from there. Lots of people were disappointed, by the way, in the One X. I personally thought it was really, I thought it was a really good console. And yeah, so I just want to throw that in. So, the actual design is what I'm going to be giving in to next. So, I really don't like the design of this thing. I don't I don't dislike the design of the 1S. I think the 1S design is it's okay. It could be better. I like um uh, the original uh one's design better actually. I turned on my Xbox 1. Great. <laughs> when I was just looking at it, I was just like staring at things to talk about. And just turned it on. So, anyways, that completely threw me off. Um, yeah, so, like, I feel like that the design could be better. And the reason I really don't like this design is because it looks like what- It looks like what Apple did with the iPhone 7. They took the Xbox One S and just gave it different colors and said, Okay, we're gonna sell this thing and that's done. So, uh, uh, I really wish they went with a better design. But I guess I guess Phil Spencer really loves this design, so he's gonna keep it around. I mean, it it's, it could be better, but yeah, it's got the same ports on the front, same ports on the back, and everything. But one thing I do want to mention is that this thing is tiny. This is the smallest Xbox ever made. So not only is it the most powerful Xbox, which we'll get into later, it's also the smallest Xbox ever made. It's smaller than a One S. It's just not too, not too smaller, not too bigger. It's it's just um bi- it's just like a little bit bigger than the Wii U when you look at it. Well, no, it's, it's it's pretty actually more bigger than the Wii U, but it's between the 360 and the Wii U in size. And the thing in in size, like think about this. I was watching a YouTuber who was also talking about this, and he brought up a really good point. What if there's what if you're a PC gamer, and you want to try out the exclusives on the Xbox One? And you, like, you have a 4K monitor, and you just want to try it out in the best performance, because PC gamers love performance when it comes down to it. So you want to try out, you want to try out, like, what's an exclusive? Is Cuphead's an exclusive? I don't know. You want to play Cuphead's, and you just have this small little console sitting right next to you, and you can just play Cuphead's and then go back to your PC, do what you want to do. And that could really appeal to a lot of, uh, what's it called, um... Uh, PC gamers, yeah. So I think that's good for PC gamers, and yeah, that's really that, that that's really it for the design. Moving on to the naming of the console, Xbox One X. This name is very bad in my opinion. Basically, wh- <laughs> I it, this name I could have been so much better. There are some things that I feel like. Um, some names that I thought would not happen. This is one of them. The reason I really didn't like this name was of two reasons. One of them is much bigger than the other. First one is because Xbox One I thought was a pretty bad name. But Xbox One X is so similar to, like, Xbox One. Sound Like, the Xbox name sounds similar to Xbox One X. It's hard to explain, but it just feels like... It just feels like that they copied and pasted the Xbox One name and just pasted it again. So that's why I didn't really like that because it kind of felt sort of like lazy in there in that kind of category. But the main reason why I dislike the name is because it's so similar to the One S. Because here's a good example. Like um, the same guy from the same stream, he also came up with another reason of why this name is terrible in his opinion. And I share the same opinion. Basically, what if there's a kid who wants an Xbox One X, and he goes up to his parents like, I want an Xbox One X. 
and uh, it's gonna. Add, if you guys want all this stuff with it, and the parents like, okay, I'll buy you the Xbox One X or whatever it is. And then because the parent doesn't know any better, they go to the store and they see two versions. They see the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S, and the names are similar. But the thing is, they look very similar, and one of them is significantly cheaper than the other. Can you guess which one's cheaper? Spoiler alert, it's the One S. So they're gonna buy the One S, and the kid's probably gonna be upset, but still, he might, um, he might be like, Oh, I still at least I got an Xbox, or whatever. And if the parent does know better, then good, great, the kid's got, you know, an Xbox One X. So the naming could have been much better, in my opinion, and... Uh, lots of people thought the name was good. I definitely disagree with them, in my opinion. So keep that in mind. My opinion. You guys, you share a different opinion. That's fine. So the specifications. This is the big part, and it's the part that we already knew everything about. So basically, the Scorpio, or I, not the Scorpio, the Xbox One X. It's gonna take time for me to uh, get used to that name. Basically, people are gonna like the the specifications were already leaked. Or, well, we're already talked about by Digital Foundry. It's gonna have six teraflops of GPU performance. It's gonna have like a 356 bandwidths and what's it called? Yeah, um, 326 gigabyte per second of memory bandwidth, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, and a GPU clocked at 1.172 gigahertz. So it's gonna be a really powerful thing. It's also the reason, in case you're wondering why it's so small, is because it has a um, a liquid cooling vapor inside of it, so that's why they could get so small, so it doesn't overheat, and then, then you know, I guess they want to make it as small as possible so they can break more world records. But yeah, the thing is, they keep bragging about it on stage about how it's the most pre, um, how it's like the most powerful console ever. I mean, it's still a tall order uh, to make the most powerful console ever, but still, it like. It, it, it just feels really weird that, well, no, it doesn't feel weird. What am I even talking about? Like, it just feels really odd that they just keep bragging about this. So it just kind of gets in the way. And yeah, that's really it for the pricing, or not the pricing. That's really it for the specifications because we already really knew everything about that. And the last thing we have to talk about is the pricing. So this thing will be $500. The most, it's the world's most powerful console, the world's smallest Xbox, and also the, um, the world's most expensive Xbox. So, great, yeah, $500. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, they're cramming in all this technology into this one thing. But, I mean, like, Microsoft, you know, like, people, $500 is still a lot of paper, so you gotta pay up. Like, no, they gotta pay up. So, like, it's- you gotta still think about them. You can't just, like, do that. I mean, because, like, you can do that if you want, but it's not gonna be something- it's not gonna be very appealing for your console. If it was cheaper, it would fly off the shelves easily, but still, it's not, which was a disappointment. But still, it understands- it's, it makes sense why they would do that. And one last quick thing I want to talk about is how it's coming out on November 7th, so that's just a little smaller thing. But think about this. In Canada, in Canada, it's gonna cost $600. So that's another ten, $100. And another guy said that in Australia, the thing's gonna cost $800. Okay, the $800 one's not worth it. But the Canadian one, I don't think is worth it. But the reason that I'm getting it is because I'm going to be trading in my Kinect and my One. and my one, So I can get the this console for like half the price. Yes, I did the calculations. It is half the price. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And yeah, that's really all I have to say about the Xbox One X. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be talking more about this maybe in smaller videos as more news is released about this thing. But yeah, I'll also be doing an unboxing video as I pre-order this, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you.